Hey guys, Helping Hands here, bringing you my live reaction for the two new battle groups, one for the DAC, one for the Brits, in the upcoming Coral Viper update, which is going to be landing on the 2nd of April. Hope you enjoy my reactions, and uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what you think about these commanders. Post a comment in chat, and uh, let's get a discussion going. But first, here's your first look at Battlefield Espionage and Australian Defence. The Australian Defence Battle Here we go. Group one of the first divisions that were able to beat back the Blitzkrieg at Tobruk and... Two Ella pound of gun? This battle group specializes in creating a defensive frontline position with logistical support at the rear Ooh, to create so a what? strong economy. Once supply lines have been established, you'll be able oh, to force? take on the Axis forces with superior range and firepower. The Australian Defence Battle Group is split into logistical supremacy and frontline defenders. Hmm. Let's take a look at frontline defenders first. The Australian Light Infantry is a five man squad equipped with Lee Enfield rifles. Like infantry sections, they can be upgraded with scoped rifles. Okay, okay. This squad performs well at long ranges, and with their sharpshooter ability, they can increase their accuracy for a short time. There'll be no time for lollygagging Ooh. as this squad is capable of constructing field defenses and emplacements, including the durable Sangar wall to hide behind. Ooh, a different type of sandbag wall. Australian nice. Light infantry can hold the line, and but they are not equipped with bunkers. or anti-tank weaponry. Ooh. But we've got just the thing for that. The two-pounder is a light anti-tank gun. It's quick to fire, fast to reload, with a decent firing arc. It's going to feel like the little uh, baby anti-tank gun you got in, when you played the Soviets. Go to. Slowing the target vehicle hit and disabling its weapons for a short time. Ooh. Defensive Tactics grants your sappers and Australian light infantry the tools needed to build the 17-pounder and Bofors emplacements. The emplacement for the 17-pounder is massive, but if you're able to find a clearing for one, that you won't have any trouble penetrating even the thickest armor from afar. Will it also rotate Whilst the fight the enemies? can provide adequate anti-air coverage to shoot down enemy aircraft, it's also effective against infantry and light armor. Hold the line is well, a see Sim City again, boys. the defense of your emplacements, team weapons, and base buildings. This reduces the incoming damage as well as a small heal over time. Wait, 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 hang on. I need to hear that again. Under heavy art emplacements, team weapons, and base buildings. This reduces the incoming damage as well as a small heal over time. Find yourself under heavy artillery fire, then hold the line. The over Another kind of brace. Allows your they brought brace back, vehicles kind of thing. Their maximum health values. Enough to potentially shrug off an extra shell from a medium tank. That can be enough to get your tank to safety for another round of repairs, and then back into action for another tour of combat. Switching over to logistical supremacy, you'll find abilities that help strengthen your economy. The CWT supply truck run is a new mechanic which collects fuel or munitions from resource points. Activate this ability by clicking on a resource point and then a supply truck will drive to that location. Once there, it will take some time to load the cargo and then make its way back to add the resources oh, that's cool. to your stockpile. The amount of resources you earn is based on the distance between the sector control point and the headquarters. Wow. The further you go, the more you get. And the more what training in Age of Empires? It seems some Age of Empires dev thought that, I think. Or... Your supply truck that's sick. At all cost. That's a cool mechanic. It Risk and reward. They'll steal the cargo. They'll steal it? Oh shit, that's cool. Resource that's cool, man. Cheaper and sturdier caches. Perfect for locations where you are already focusing a strong defense. A new construction option. Let's yeah, play to it as well. Great, nice. Wire flares. These can be planted near sector control points for a small amount of munitions. When the enemy trips the wire. A flare will reveal the surrounding area, and a single artillery shell will strike, letting them know these are our resources. Yeah! Charged Creeping Barrage designates a line of shell fire from point A to B. 
This type of barrage was often used as a shield for advancing infantry, but it works great against any established enemy for well, That seems pretty position. goddamn strong, that. Huh? You'll need your supply routes in check, because this will cost you a heavy amount of munitions. Oh, that could be a good thing to take out. The um, tank destroyer has post arrived. reserve spam. This tank destroyer is equipped with the 17 And it has the... It's got range. It's got firepower. When it's stationary and out of combat, the first shot against its target will have increased accuracy, penetration, and damage. With its great reverse speed, it can quickly deploy, take a shot, and then reposition to safety. This command is going to be super good. Probably too good. The Australian Defence Battle Group has excellent defensive capabilities. It's crazy that you've got... Seven, you but got... They also paint large Damn. targets on their back. You'll need to use everything you've got to protect your supply trucks, keep your emplacements firing, and fuel your war. The Battlefield Espionage Battle Group specializes in camouflage. Okay, one second. Hang on. So before we get to the the, the new deck one, so that seems like kind of crazy that you have the archer as well as all the emplacements that you can now build because it feels like it does everything that commander, right? You've got really good defensive options and really good like mobile options as well. I feel like it's kind of doing a bit of everything and it might be too much potentially. But I like the, the the supply truck has got me hyped out the most out of all of that. Even like more than the archer because that's a new kind of mechanic which I think is sick. Uh, I hope that like the Axis gets some kind of thing like that as well. One of their commanders because that's a really cool kind of feature and and, and uh, whole new mechanic and company heroes having like a trade wagon or rather a trade supply truck going in grabbing grabbing these supplies and, and then it goes back to base. That's really cool. Um, is the tr supply truck driven by AI? I, it possibly is. I, I would have to. would need to test it. But that's super, really cool. I really like that. The fuge. Avoid the enemy's detection, then be the first to strike hard and fast. Use underhanded tactics to steal enemy resources and disrupt their intel in the combat zone. Okay. Okay. The Battlefield Espionage Battle Group is split into infiltration and disruption. Let's take a look at infiltration first. The Funk Panzer Wagon is Funk a Panzer? vehicle. <laughs> it can be upgraded from the 250 half track or arrive as a call in. Okay, okay. With the coordinate ambush operations ability, it can provide camouflage to your nearby units. However, it does not camouflage itself. Infantry and team weapons that are camouflaged gain the first strike bonus increasing damage and accuracy for a short duration when engaging. The Funk Panzerwagen can deploy the standard Shu-42 mine and the anti-vehicle telemine. Nice. If that wasn't enough, how about- Goliath! Yes, I knew it! I a knew it, Goliath! Yeah, I fucking knew it! I caught that! I caught that! Yeah, Goliath! The Goliath can be deployed out the yes, back of the Yes, Goliath is back! You will need to use camouflage to get it close to targets to deal devastating damage. Oosh. It doesn't move or turn fast and can be destroyed by light arms fire. It is also easily detected by minesweepers. He... Anti-tank guns will be bolstered with incendiary munitions, dealing a small amount of additional damage over time after the round penetrates. Ooh. This burn damage cannot destroy vehicles. Oh, you but... will also receive the Haft Holodong anti tank grenade to replace the standard AT grenade, dealing superior damage. Uh, AT grenades? Okay. Advanced ambush training increases the first strike bonus of your infantry squad. Oh, wow. As well as extending the duration, leading Big to hit. deadlier ambushes for your infantry squads when engaging from camouflage. Prepare yourself. For Operation Scorpion. Camouflage tanks? On activating the ability, all vehicles will gain camouflage, reducing their speed. When a vehicle is revealed, its what? rate of fire will increase for what? a short duration, allowing you to choose your targets carefully before pummeling them into submission. In addition to this, that's a silly. Uh, okay, that's bullshit. Scorpion, yeah, I, that, have a portion of huh? cost I don't think they had that kind of technology in World War Two. Let's look at the disruption side of the tactical tree. What the? Okay, the uh, battlefield yeah. Battlefield Espionage Battle Group can choose one of two radio beacons that can be constructed by Panzer Pioneers, Panzer Grenadiers, and the Funk Panzer Wagen. What does these do the then? Intel disruption beacon detects nearby enemies marking their location in the fog of war. Nice. This beacon also provides camouflage to nearby infantry and weapons teams. Ooh, camouflage machine gun. 
The sector subterfuge beacon steals resources from enemy territory. Hey, nice. If this radio beacon is in your own territory, it will make it harder for the enemy to capture. Whilst these beacons are camouflaged, uh -huh. they can be easily detected by scout type units. Check, check. Uh -huh. Plunder allows you to scavenge vehicle wrecks for weapons. Weapons? The weapons you gain depends on the squad. Panzer Grenadiers get a BAR or light machine gun. Assault Grenadiers gain a Thompson SMG or STG-44. Panzer Jaegers get an AT rifle or bazooka. And Panzer Pioneers get an AT a rifle or bazooka? Rifle or a light machine gun. Yo, yo, Panzer yo! Okay! Would you purposely want to blow your own stuff up to, to to equip your own? Let's say you made a load of cheap motorcycles or something, and then you could yeah, that's kind of that's a cool mechanic. I like that. That's really cool. But like, could you exploit that? Upgrades your resource caches to be able to trade fuel or munitions for manpower. The resource exchange rate. Fuel or munitions for manpower. Hang on. 43 scoped rifle or a light machine gun. Transfer depots upgrades your resource caches to be able to trade fuel or munitions for manpower. The resource exchange rate can be improved by constructing the depot on higher yielding fuel and munition points. Disruption operation reduces your enemy's situational awareness, leaving them more vulnerable to surprise attacks. Once activated, the enemy unit's vision range will decrease over time and their accuracy Ooh. reduced. They will still be able to engage targets that are firing upon them, but they'll be less likely to notice other units sneaking up on them. Ooh. Scorch the earth in a storm of fire. This ability shells the area with incendiary rounds which burn the ground. Infantry and structures will take damage over time. Infantry will also move slower and be easier to hit. The Battlefield Espionage Battle Group is great at indirect attacks. However, in a straight up fight, they have little firepower to fall back on. So make sure you're the one that's dictating the battlefield and never let your opponent take the initiative away from you. So now that we've had our first wow some nice new different unit three, abilities and units and stuff there folks, that's cool man uh, primarily responsible for getting them so guys that's the end of the video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did and want more content check up over here and over here and if you want to subscribe to the channel make sure to click the button down here I'll catch you in the next video guys take care and i'll see you soon